is warning beachgoers about climate change. Officials have installed a sign informing them that if we don't cut back on our greenhouse emissions, the beach will eventually be underwater. But as News Channel's John Rogers shows us, some don't think that's the city's job to spread that kind of message. Good evening. Take a look. This here is the sign that greets visitors as they enter Lido Beach. The city says it shares a very important message, but not everyone feels that way. The sign is pretty clear. The city of Sarasota is warning about the harmful effects of climate change. Uh, three feet, then that is the Mort Marine. It gives dire warnings about the rising sea level, and folks can't help but stop and read. I live uh, three quarters of a mile from the beach, so I would be underwater, I'm sure. It's a big concern. That should be to everybody. You'll find tips to help you reduce your carbon footprint, like eat less red meat and travel by car more often. It's all part of an educational campaign by the city of Sarasota. I feel it's incredibly important for us to relay this information because it's science-based information. But climate change is a very politically charged issue that especially came to light during last year's presidential campaign. And Michael Barfield with the ACLU does not think the city should use taxpayer money to promote were, this cause. Uh, if I were giving them my opinion, it would be take down the sign. Since it was installed recently, Barfield has fielded complaints that the sign goes too far. He's spoken with a city official over the matter. Eat less red meat. What does that have to do with climate change? It hasn't dawned on me. Why do we want to commercialize the beach? Um, it just doesn't make good sense to me. It's not a good public policy position, if you ask me. Barfield argues if the city is going to publicly promote this cause, then it needs to allow others to express their views, too. You cannot discriminate against competing messages. Sarasota officials say they're not forcing anyone to do anything. They just want visitors to be informed. The city has plans to install more of these signs at area beaches in the near future. In Sarasota, John Rogers, News Channel 8. The sign is just a small part of the city's climate adaptation plan. Officials have a series of long-range goals to prepare the city for the rise of the sea level in the future.